Let's pray before we begin. Lord please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask, Amen. Chapter 12 Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag while he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahiezer, then Joash, the sons of Shema'ah the Gibeathite, and Jeziel and Pelet, the sons of Asmaveth, and Berekah and Jehu, the Antothite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty and over the thirty, and Jeremiah and Jehaziel and Johanan and Josabad the Gedirathite, Eluzai and Jeremoth, and Bealiah and Shemariah and Shephatiah the Harufite, Elkanah and Jesiah and Azareel and Joeza and Jeshabim the Koahites, and Joela and Zebadiah the sons of Jeroham of Gedor. And of the Gadites there separated themselves unto David into the hold to the wilderness, men of might and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the roes upon the mountains. Ezer the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmana the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atei the sixth, Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Macbani the eleventh. These were of the sons of Gad, captains of the host. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered and said unto them, If ye be come peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye be come to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped them not, for the lords of the Philistines upon advisement sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Josabad, and Jediel, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zilthi, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred, and Zadok a young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand, for hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. 
Of Zebulun, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, with all instruments of war, fifty thousand which could keep rank. They were not of double heart. And of Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them with shield and spear thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites, expert in war, twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher, such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war for the battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking, for their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen, and meat, meal, cakes of figs and bunches of raisins, and wine and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel. Matthew Henry Commentary on First Chronicles chapter 12, verses 1 to 22. Here is an account of those who appeared and acted as David's friends, while he was persecuted. No difficulties or dangers should keep the sinner from coming to the Savior, nor drive the believer from the path of duty. Those who break through, and overcome in these attempts, will find abundant recompense. From the words of Emma we may learn how to testify our affection and allegiance to the Lord Jesus, His we must be throughly. On His side we must be forward to appear and act. If we are under the influence of the Spirit, we shall desire to have our lot among them, and to declare ourselves on their side, if in faith and love we embrace the cause of Christ, He will receive, employ, and advance us. Verses 23-40 When the throne of Christ is set up in a soul, there is, or ought to be, great joy in that soul, and provision is made, not as here, for a few days, but for the whole life, and for eternity. Happy are those who wisely perceive it to be their duty and interest. To submit to the Savior Jesus Christ, the Son of David, who renounce for his sake all that is not consistent, whose earnest endeavors to do good are directed by the wisdom that God giveth, through acquaintance with his word, experience, and observation. If any man lack this wisdom, let him ask it of God, who giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.